you what's up what's up everybody i mean it's morning time for me so good morning or afternoon what's up chloe i see you what's good christian um yeah if you don't know my name is omar i'm the senior cultural partnership strategist for finish line we had a pivot last minute so that's why we're doing it on saturday today we got patty mills uh she'll be in with in with us shortly uh yeah what's up talk to me what's going on i see you wearing the new forces oh i know a lot of y'all asked to see what's in my sneaker closet i'm not gonna show you the whole closet but i pulled out like what i got three pairs that i have in rotation for the most part so um as we wait for patty i can show you those <clears throat> you know i love all white sneakers so one of my favorite pairs right now is having rotation of these little off-white presto those right there another one i got because i love all white sneakers off-white for the one and then another one in my closet that's a special pair uh dj car kent signed the box personal gift in pair of all pony hair air force ones got that white but that's about it. You know, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. How come I never win raffles? I don't win raffles either, bro. Trust me. I feel the pain. I feel it. Let's see who else we got in here. Yeah, I feel the pain with those raffles, man. Yeah. Especially when you have, like... Like me, we wear a big size, and it's not too many of those. So, just gotta take that out. Get the Jordan Low dunk bed. Hey Amen. I'll try. If I could get it, I'll get it. Every release thing. What's up, Jay? I see you store 271. Those white and green J's coming out. I don't know. I don't know. Just got a box one day. Top three goats like basketball. Mid Air Force one with the strap. I like Air Forces. They smooth. No, I didn't get those satin snakes. I took the L on that too. Yeah, that's true. Like, you know, when you take the L's, you save them bread. So, you know, that's the 200 that's in your pocket that you're using something else. Feel me? Um, there he goes. I'm about to tap in with him right now. The 20 L's. Patty, what's good, man? Live from the bubble. How you feeling? Good morning, Matt. How you doing? No, I'm good. I'm good. You know, I appreciate you taking the time out to chat with us today. Yeah, no worries, man. Uh, thanks for ha thanks for having me. This is uh, interesting times in the bubble, but uh, glad to get the the NBA uh, up and going again. Yeah, how you holding up down there? Yeah, good, man. Can't complain. Um, we're in a nice spot. Um, we got a bed, we've got a roof, uh, we got mm -hmm. some food, and uh, I'm playing basketball. So uh, yeah, mm -hmm. all good. You got the rock and the hoop. That's all you need. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Simple things. Right. All right. Cool. Let's get into it, man. Um, I know for a lot of the players, the decision to start playing, some people felt that I may take away from the momentum around, you know, the BLM movement. Uh, what would you say? What's your take on that? And what encouraged? What made it difficult? For you to decide to play or not? Yeah, it's it, it's a good question. Um, um, around the the health and safety of of COVID. Um, yeah. But the 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 NBA has done a, an excellent job uh, with this bubble, but. Um, you know, in in terms of momentum, I guess with the the BLM movement. Um, the NBA has, has created such a, a powerful platform um, for us to be heard. 
Um, and yeah. we as players need to take advantage of that um, so we can influence change through sport um, while we do what we love doing and, and that's competing and, and that's uh, playing basketball. Yeah, for sure. And I see like you have uh, the Black Lives Matter painted on every court you play on. I think, you know, just having all the eyes on the court and you guys as players, it means a lot when you guys are able to, you know, really stand in solidarity for what's going on. Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah. So tell me, talk me through the decision of you, you know, deciding to donate your, the rest of your salary on like different charities supporting BLM, because that in itself is such a powerful thing. Yeah, um, it, it is. Um, and I guess the, the first thing that's probably important to note is um, I, I give back on, on a consistent basis, um, whether mm -hmm. it's giving back to victims of domestic violence, um, delivering supplies on a fire relief trip, um, providing clean drinking water, um, yeah. giving back to schools, um, I come from a community full of uh, culture and traditions, yeah. So um, mm -hmm. the the natural unwritten value within that community is to to look out for each other, look after each other um, in your community. So I guess having that sense of of community and belonging and being able to provide support um, it is ingrained in me because that's just uh, who we are, I guess. But for me, um, you know, I always need substance. I always need meaning behind almost everything that I do. So to fight through the uncertainty of, of COVID, number one, um, mm -hmm. I had to control what I could control, um, right. donate my earnings to um, causes that I fully trust that will make an impact, um, and then use the NBA platform to speak up on systemic racism and, and social uh, justice because to me it was the only thing that made sense yeah i like what you said with control with, with uh what you can control because you know a lot of things are just out of your hands sometimes so you just got to be able to if you got the power to change something yourself individually you just got to do it yeah 100 percent. and it's funny because i had uh, someone ask me the other day um um you know, you, you're donating the rest of your remaining salary. You, you're not a big, uh, you're not a max guy. It's not like you earn, mm -hmm. you know, as much as these other big time players. Um, and I said, mate, well, where I come from, <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I I earn, you know, a, a lot of money and I am a max yeah. player, you know, compared to, the, to where I'm from. So it's just about giving back and, and how you can positively impact, um, you know, people in, in, in those communities who are in, you know, less privileged situations. Right. And then uh, growing up in Australia, Australia, you openly discussed, like, you know, the different racism you might have faced. <clears throat> so how has those, those experiences, um, you know, affected your mindset or your decisions as far as, like, supporting what's going on in the States when it comes to, like, the black and brown community? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's a good question because... Well, well. First of all, uh, I'm not necessarily just supporting the movement. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm a part of the movement. I, I am yeah. the movement in, in that sense, and and so is every single person um, that has ever been racially vilified, discriminated against, mm -hmm. um, and died because of the color of their skin. Um, you know, for for me, it, it's it's the people who have never experienced um, these things that we need full support from, that we need to support BLM movement, right? So, um, yeah. you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's staying, staying silent in the face of racism and discrimination is, is just as bad, right? So I, you know, d this dismantling... Um, this ingrained um, mindset and attitude um, will take a lot of work. And, and I get that. I understand that. But it's also all the more reason for these people who have never experienced um, racism to take responsibility for the part that they need to play to actually create that real change. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then I feel like you hear stories of players going to play like in Boston, for example, or Utah, 
and you know the different racial slurs that hear from hear from the fans, and even yourself experiencing that. So, do you think the average fan understands how much that happens when you go to like different arenas? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. N- not a clue in in um in in my opinion, and and you know it's it's. It's just the way it is in in that sense, um, mm-hmm. but but I know for a fact because um, you know I've had I've had that many phone calls, um, I've had that many texts from people saying I- exactly that 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 they had no clue of the extent of racism um, that I would go through, um, you know, not only in my own country but but here too uh, in in the states, um, yeah. but. You know the situation that happened a, a few years ago in the NBA um, in Cleveland is probably the, the perfect example of what needs to happen um, and and should happen. And the in, the incident um, during that game, while I was standing on 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 the the free throw line, um, yeah. and to be honest, I've, I've definitely heard a lot worse than than what I was called at at that point. But um, the guy was kicked out. Um, he was given a penalty. Um, but the only reason that that happened is because people heard it in the arena. People heard it on TV. Um, and it was blasted over, over social media, uh, which caught the eye of the people that, that made that decision. So it mm-hmm. was called out. Um, and a change was made and, and essentially I didn't do anything. So now the example that I'm giving right now is somewhat minor, yeah, um, but it's not about that one time. You know, yeah. imagine how many one times there are, mm-hmm. hundreds of thousands, you know, that I've personally gone through, millions, you know, and, right. and, and everyone. Um, and that's over the years too. Situation. Exactly, over, over yeah. the years, however long you, you live. So it builds up, you know, and, you know, when you pound at a rock, you know, and, and chip away, there's going to be some mm-hmm. point or some breaking point. Um, right. and, and, and this is exactly the same thing. But, um, you know, w- when that incident happened and, and the support that I got, um, it, it's that feeling of support at that specific moment in time um, that is incredibly powerful. Um, it's an overwhelm, overwhelming um, feeling of protectiveness um, mm-hmm. that people who face racism on a daily basis, um, they need to feel that. They need that sense of um, support um, because it, it can take a toll on you. Um, and some people can handle um, and some people shouldn't, but no one should, <laughs> should go through mm-hmm. that stuff. Yeah, at all. And I, I can imagine, like, you know, the players on the rest of your team or even other teams that you go into a whole season <clears throat> and then go into, like, different cities and just hearing that over and over again. And like you said, right. it just takes a toll on you at some point, And then, you know, that's when you end up going off on somebody. And, yeah. So people yeah, exactly. just definitely need to be aware of, like, all those things going on in the arena. So, um, exactly. lastly, take me through the, the IBA. And it's, you know, why it's so important to you. Yeah, IBA is um, – um, something that we announced the other day it's um indigenous basketball australia um and it's the body for um you know black australians in particular um aboriginal and torres strait islander people in australia um to mm-hmm. give them opportunity um to uh, create pathways for them to succeed uh, in, in sport and, and in basketball so um you know it's it's one of those things where um, basketball and sport will be the vehicle. Um, IBA will be the, the will be driving this vehicle because the current system just doesn't provide the same opportunities and and pathways that that it should um, right. for 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 Black Australians. So um, you know it, it's one of those things that yes we're using basketball and we're using sport, but the real difference that we're going to make is is in the lives of of young uh, children, youth, um, so that they can have some sense of hope and belonging, um, you know, without getting caught up in the streets or, you know, yeah. or, or in the 
the prison systems, detention, juvenile systems, because that's where that's where it's 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 heavily impacted. Um, obviously, not only here, but but especially in Australia. And and you know the stats that you hear when you hear of you know the ages of ten to thirteen um, that that are in prison, that are in juvenile centres. Seventy um, percent, you know, seventy five percent of those children are black Australians, in particular Aboriginal and, and Torres Strait Islander people. So that's the kind of effects that, that we're trying to have on, on this IBA program and, and get them involved in something um, positive. Yeah. You know, we have Finish Line, we support you and what you're doing with the IBA. Um, so we want to donate 20000 So let me get the checkbook real quick. Wow. Yeah. Big checks literally. Holy just... smokes. <laughs> Let me just, you know, write it in real quick. Oh, mate, that's 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 really un yeah. unbelievable, especially when we just so announced we got it. the big checks. Let me back up a little bit so you can see the twenty oh, thousand. Oh man, twenty bands to the IBA. So you know, over here at the sign, we supporting what you do. Shout out to Andrew. Shout out to you. And yeah, you know, keep up the good work. And definitely, what you've been doing is inspiring. So I hope. Through this conversation, we were able to inspire other people to do the same, or if not, you know, inform themselves, you know, Google some things and just kind of understand and show some empathy as far as like what people are going through. So, oh man, that, that is you. unbelievable. Thank you very much, Finish Line. Thank you. Um, you, you couldn't even fit the check in the camera, bro. Is that <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I appreciate that, mate. That that's gonna um, that's life changing stuff right there, and and that's what yeah. obviously I'm all about, and that's what we're we're trying to do, obviously in this bubble here. But um, mate, that's 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 huge. Thanks for the support. Um, and that's what we got to keep on doing, man. We got to keep on educating. We got to keep on bringing people together, um, so that we can we we can make a change. But um, thank you very much, man. From bottom of the heart, that's that's awesome stuff. Yeah. I appreciate you again for taking the time out. <clears throat> I just want to thank everybody for tuning in again. Um, next week we have Miguel, so that should be a great conversation. Um, and yeah, you know, that's all I got. I know you probably got to get some rest, treatment, or, you know, whatever you got to do in the bubble. So, <laughs> yeah. I got to go to practice now, bro. So I'll uh, need to get some shots up. Yeah. All right, cool. Appreciate you, Patty. All right, man. Thanks for having me. All right, take care. Yeah.